Well, Ken, your first uh, deal of the day, you shore up a little bit on the back end. What are some attractive qualities that you've seen from Kulak? Well, obviously, we saw a lot of them last year being in, this, in the Canadian division. Uh, you know, mobility, um, you know, very uh, dependable, uh, can move the puck. And, uh, you know, obviously, we were, you know, I was looking for another defenseman, preferably left, left defense, because, uh, you know, we got three on the right that play regular, and uh, Russell can slide over. And if, if Broberg gets healthy here, we're not sure how long he's out, but hopefully it's just two, three weeks. He can play right. So we were looking for a left shot defenseman. And, uh, um, there wasn't a lot on the market, uh, and we're fortunate we're happy to get one. Your second deal of the day, Derek Broussard, obviously gives you some experience, closing in on 940 games in the NHL, but yeah. 117 playoff games and some success in the playoffs too. Yeah. How big of a factor was that? Well, first off, you know, on, on, uh, on, on, on uh, Brett Kulak, obviously Gully knows him good from his days in Calgary, and then uh, uh, tied to right. You know, he, he was in Columbus many, many years ago when Derek Broussard was there. So he's known Derek uh, since he's been 18 years of age. And, uh, you know, so uh, in the in the uh, Montreal deal, obviously, they uh, we had we traded uh, Lagason. They ate the 50 percent salary and then uh, Philadelphia also ate 50 percent salary. I think we we spent uh, 610 or 612 thousand dollars of cap space today. We were tight coming into today. So, you know, Broussard can play left wing. He can play center. Uh, you know, he's, like you said, he's had a good uh, playoff resume and uh, gives us more depth um, as we as we push to try to uh, qualify for a playoff spot. Um, your thoughts today, like, did you even think you're going? At, there was going to be a goalie there for you, for instance. Was there even remotely a thought on that, or were you pretty much thinking lefty and go from there? Yeah, you know, I, mean, I guess you know, I yeah, I think when both goalies are healthy. I'm comfortable with our goaltending. You know, it's been over two and a half years. I think that uh, the goaltending has been really designed so that they're, they're sort of 1A and 1B. Um, you know, I just said to you, I think we've added $612,000 of cap space, and we're, we are snuggled within 1,000 or two. We've got room to, to kind of call up one player, just if we need to call up, obviously, uh, if you have an injury, whether it's a goalie or... Uh, you know, uh, one of those forwards or defensemen down there. So we didn't have a lot of space, and uh, I guess f for me, I'm 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 comfortable that uh, um, that when we've got the tandem together, that they give us good goaltending. And on Kulak, did you think that uh, you know you said there wasn't many lefty out there? Was there a particular kind you're wanting? Did you you know were you looking for a certain type of player in that left? Well, man? I think everybody you, know, you want talented and physical and big and hard and. and for those uh, types of defensemen. So, um, you know, I think that at the end of the day, we were looking for a guy that could be in the top six. Um, obviously, he played last year, uh, you know, 13 or 14 playoff games. Um, you know, he's been a uh, stretch this year. He's been in the first pair with Petrie and had matchups against uh, the other team's uh, um, first line. So, you know, he comes in and he can play, uh, you know, I think he could play anywhere from... Uh, you know, in the, in the second, top four to uh, to the to the to the third pair. So I think he gives us versatility, and uh, uh, again, he's mobile. He's got good size, and uh, we want to get the puck moving forward. Good.